Three, two, one. 脱下套装对我来说就意味着结束了工作。在这座城市里，能把时间花在放松身心、享受健康生活上，感觉真是太好了。How am I doing? Amazing. 我想，让人们生活的更好，也是创业的一大动力吧。大家现在也非常讲究健身，而在美国呢，健身呢早已经成为了一种传统。根据呢 Time Max 做的一个调研呢，在美国有百分之七十三的人啊，至少每个星期呢会去健身一次。除了健身的人群很大之外呢，在美国呢随处都可以看到这样的健身房，整个的产业呢非常的成熟。但是呢，随着呢人们啊生活方式的变化以及呢技术的革新，在健身行业也出现了一些创业的机会。生命在于运动。经常健身成为了越来越受推崇、越来越普及的生活方式。在美国，有三点一五亿运动人口，三点零五万个健身俱乐部，会员数量五千零二十万，年收入高达二百四十二亿美元。在中国，随着生活质量的提高，参与健身的人也越来越多。据澳大利亚商业信息公司 i p s w o r l d 报告，从二零零四年到二零一二年，不到十年的时间里，我国的健身俱乐部数量翻了十倍。目前，全国健身房数量在八千到一万家左右。据预测，二零一八年，中国的健身产业将达到六十八点三亿美元的规模。从这个市场的角度来讲，健康啊、呃、这个领域的话，一直是一个很大的市场。人们也越来越重视自己的健康，随着经济的发展，所以说呢，市场是毋庸置疑的。So I think there's a lot of、uh, players in the market. I think that's going to be a problem. It's a very big and growing market, but it's also a very competitive market. There are a lot of companies out there. I've seen a number that are doing various kinds of on-demand training and things over the internet. 来自纽约的健身达人 Ben Hart 曾经是专业的拳击运动员，后在号称是健身房界的爱马仕的 Equinox 里担任私人健身教练。Ben， 哦，比亚克。对于美国的健身行业发展，他跟我们谈起了自己的看法。New York is like a big space to do that. Like New York is like prime. Like you can make a good amount of money, but you could also be super happy as a trainer in New York, and that's that's amazing. How many trainers are in the states? You know, because there's a lot of unregistered, and it's like、yeah. you can you can kind of like go off of like trainers from that are that are applied to big gyms, but you、yeah. can there's a lot of, there's also a lot of people who just do a lot of training that are just own their own private business. The personal training business has significantly increased from five years ago. Yeah. It's yeah, it's it's on a dramatic increase. 在美国呢，其实呢，健身房的普及度非常高，很多城市人啊都是拥有的一个 membership。大部分的美国健身教练呢都是和健身房合作的。那用户呢在付了每个月的月费的基础之上呢，可以根据自己的需求，可以呢指定的不同的健身教练，再呢交付一个课费。然后这个课费呢，最终也是教练呢和健身房之间呢进行分成的。那这就出现了一些问题，第一个成本很高，另外一个问题呢就是现在人的生活节奏很快，而且一。动性很高，在固定的时间到一个地方去健身去上课，就变成了这是一变成了一种负担，所以比较难实现。应对这样一种趋势呢，可以看到有越来越多小型的健身工作室兴起了，有很多的健身教练呢出来呢，通过呢互联网的方式对自己呢进行营销。Two big problems in the space. One is that the space is just a saturated space. Like we don't come out to solve the issue of Making it a, a not saturated space by providing one solution, but we definitely plan on addressing it because there's a lot of like content in the space out there. There's a lot of classes, a lot of places where you can find fitness content, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on another platform.、Yeah. 15 more seconds. We're halfway there. What's the second problem? The second problem is that there's a lot of data from, let's say, your wearables, like your Apple Watch, or your Fitbit, or your Jawbone. There's a lot of data out there that I think a lot of people get confused by. It's not as actionable as it could be. 健身行业革命的升级阶段，主要特点是创新和科技在健身行业中所扮演的角色越来越重要。可穿戴的运动设备越来越流行，帮你找健身课、找私教，帮你监控健康数据，教你如何运动，移动 App 各种来袭。如今的健身科技更强调娱乐性和互动性的结合。
健身行业的变革催生了新型健身创业公司。作为明星私教、健身达人，但也创立了一个全新的健身网络平台 Kinetic。What's up, guys? I'm Ben Hart. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Kinetic. And at Kinetic, we really, truly believe that empowering people to live healthier and fitter lives, physically and mentally, is the most important thing in the world. Therefore. Our team and myself have introduced a platform of interactive fitness classes, and anything from yoga to strength training to Pilates to bar, hosted by some of the best faces in the industry, that you can access at any time around your day at no cost to you. This project's founder, very ah, very passionate, talked about his own business idea. The goal of this project is to make people's lives more healthy. I believe that this project will have a big impact on the team and give a big incentive to the team. From the business side, this product will be a problem. It will be a problem that the market itself has not been that high. 的市场，这个产品本身的门槛显得没有那么高，而且呢，面临呃一个双边市场的启动的问题。Kinetic is in a very interesting industry. The whole health and fitness world is burgeoning, and people are increasingly short of time and don't have the ability to go off to、uh, to places or schools. I think the product、uh, is very interesting. Many people do not want to go to a gym; they would rather access like fitness classes from their home. But I think Kinetic is a very interesting company in a very large market. So I think there's a lot of、uh, players in the market. I think that's going to be their problem. 投资人到底会打多少分？稍后为您揭晓。So here's the next upcoming live class. You can kind of dip into any of them.、Mm -hmm. How can Kinetic help people? Our first step was providing one place where people can come, consume information, and take classes together. We aggregated some of the best faces in the industry to come together and host these classes. How did you recruit these、uh, trainer, these coaches? I've either heard a lot about them, or I've gotten an introduction to them,、um, or I've just kind of got to know them in the industry. So because I started off in the industry, because we have this raw and authentic environment for them to be their full self, we, that's the way we operate. And after the first time I shot with them, I was like, "Well, this is amazing. I want to keep doing this." <laughs> so you know, there's a lot of video production teams out there, but none of them are as cool as Kinetic. Who are the core customer of、uh, Kinetic? What we've noticed is that our core user right now is、um, 75% women, the wives, the mothers, or soon to be either. I don't even take this by the coach.、Yeah. You're gonna be working out with me. I'm following you. That's it. We're gonna do a simple one. <laughs> Three office stretches for you, real quick, real easy. Bianca killed it. I can do it. I can do it. Again. 随着健身领域的互联网化发展，各种各样的健身 app 并不少见，功能也五花八门。Squat and lunge. 在美国，有整合视频课程带人锻炼的 Nike Training Club。Welcome to Nike Training Club. We're going to do a 30-minute workout. Peloton Cycle, Velo， 也有结合社交与私教课程团购模式的 Fitmart。而主打竞技人群的 Strava， 融合了互动与娱乐，让用户比拼跑步或者骑行的成绩。You ready? Go. 在国内，近年来也涌现了像 Keep、Fit Time、火辣健身这样的众多在线健身 app。那说到这个健身行业的创新和创业啊，啊，在美国我们也看到呢，各种各样的类型有不同的一些呢，呃，方式。第一个呢是通过社交媒体建立一个社区，这些呢喜欢健身的人呢去分享呢，啊，他们对于呢健身的一些看法、一些经验，以及他们觉得好的健身教练和健身场所。另外一个呢就有点类似于大众点评网，那大家呢可以对于呢不同的健身的服务、项目、场所呢进行打。分，另外的一个创业的方向呢，就是更加专业级的，就是对自己的用户去推荐一些健身教练和健身场所的资源。那这个呢，就相对来讲的话，要 customize， 要根据呢客户的需求呢进行呢操作。那我们今天介绍的 Kinetic， 它是通过呢直播，通过网络的方式呢，让你随时随地呢可以上课。我想呢，这也是一个非常不错的切入点。Why is so important to do a live class? You can see. Or at least experience what others are doing in that class with you, and getting recognition from our coach is important for live. Live doesn't really work unless you have interaction. Right now, you're about to witness Heidi, and she's about to give an amazing marathon training class. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody! I am new coach Heidi Christopher. Here today, just in time for the marathon with yoga for. 
other runner yoga routines, head on over to the Q app or website and I will see you soon. Do you think um, Kinetic is going to change people's way of exercising or you think it will be a supplement to their gym workout? In a way, we are becoming a digital gym. We also want to offer the option for group classes, which is important, that kind of interaction and that, that social presence that a lot of people take group classes for. And then there's a personal side, which is a more customized approach to your training and your lifestyle. So it's beyond just class online? We're definitely taking a, a much more innovative approach. We want to essentially address that by building out much more technology on our side. Right now what's available is that you can plug your Apple Watch or your Fitbit into the Kinetic app, yeah. track your progress, and see how other people have done in these particular classes. How are you going to make money? We believe that though there's a lot of value to this content, subscriptions for class services have kind of steadily been on the decline. And we didn't feel that we should be charging for this. So we wanted to go beyond content. We wanted to make a much more interactive approach to taking online classes. And that means that getting the community more involved in these classes, as well as some back and forth. So actually, we're launching something at the beginning of next year. And we're launching, so we're launching two premiums. You can go to a group class, or you can go for a more personalized approach, private. Strategically, like, yeah. what's your vision for uh, kinetic in the future. So I think like what we're building now is like the first step for that. We're building these, these interactive components that enable you to use that with the technology that you currently have. We've been building a smaller library of VR content. We believe that VR is going to be a place for fitness. Taking class with each other regardless of where you are and at any destination you want is kind of cool. 当然，我们可以看到他自己公司旗下现在有二十三名教练，那么呃，这也对应了他的商业模式，就是在将来的话，怎么让这个产品做得更加的能够产品化，而、啊、不仅仅靠啊这个健身教练呢、啊，或者在上面的这些 IP 他们自己的个人魅力啊，或者一两次的这种视频展示，能够让这个吸引这样的啊用户，那么是不是真的能够有产品化的方式，能够帮更大规模？Since there are so many competitors out there,、uh, it's going to be difficult to scale this business.、Uh, I think the best way for them is to raise a large round of funding and really focus on marketing. If they have the product、uh, totally completely developed, I gave them a seven out of ten、uh, on the Lack of the strength of the product and also the difficulty of marketing to users. So the idea of bringing top fitness trainers, you know, on an on-demand basis to people's screens is actually quite a good one. On top of that, they have a apparently very good team for a total of eight for Kinetic. 想要三百六十度无死角了解这家创业公司吗？请到创美频道点击观看创美特别推出的 VR 视频《创业美国三百六十度看公司》。见到 Ben 的时候呢，他就在练拳击啊。后来知道呢，他还真的原来就是一个半专业的拳击运动员，差点还去了奥运会。那应该说呢，他对于呢健身这个产业呢非常的熟悉，而且和他的几个啊创始的这个合伙人一样呢，都是对于他们做的事情非常有热情。而且我觉得他们这个团队的组合也很好啊，有。健身背景的，有 finance 背景的，投资背景的，所以把各方面的资源呢，可以比较好的组合在一起。How old were you when you started? I grew up competing in many sports. I competed in boxing at a high level during college. That was where I spent the most of my time and energy. So I had a heavy, heavy, strong commitment with boxing. You were, or you are still, a personal trainer. She didn't actually start till personal training till I was done with college. Personal training wasn't like a thing I always wanted to do. I kind of did it because I felt that it was the right move to get into the industry,、mm -hmm. at least from a start. How did you meet your co-founders? Eric, we met back in college. We were roommates for a year. It was during that time where、um, he was in finance and, and economics. I graduated with bio and psych. We had these, you know, we we had these like gaps, or I had these gaps that we saw in the space that Eric became super passionate about as well. We pitched our other co-founder and Liam. Actually, I trained Liam. Liam came in as our first angel investor. But he also came in as our co-founder. Did you guys did the the C round, or did you raise more funds? Yeah,、um, we actually did. We have a couple of investors, maybe like six or seven others. Strategic 
good fits for early stage for us. We opened up our Series C Plus last um, two weeks ago. So now we're in like a fundraising round. How much money are you guys looking for? Well, it is a significant amount, but we're looking for 750 right now just to get us into next year because we want to keep it super lean. Like that's just in our DNA. I guess like if I were before exercise, I would definitely have like a banana. They help me with my cramps, these Quest protein chips. They do come in really good flavors. This bar here, this Oh Yeah bar, the lemons are just amazing just in general and I love like how it enhances the flavor. But yeah, that's it. Just the chips and everything else. Yeah. Like you transfer from a trainer into a business person, a uh, CEO. Yeah. What kind of transition? did you go through? Actually, it is a major one. Uh, my lifestyle switch. I think the hardest part is the whole thing. It d doesn't get easier in, in a way. It, it gets more amazing and, and you get more passionate about it because you realize how far you come in. What do you like about it? Well, I think the main thing that I really enjoyed mostly was just helping people to do certain things that they couldn't do before. The biggest benefit you can get is empowerment. Um, that, that's, that's the biggest deal for anybody that I've ever trained. That was the main reason I became a trainer in the first place and then everything else that came along with that after that was just great to have. 收看更多创业美国独家揭秘创业视频，关注创业美国微信公众号，每周五推送决赛入围团队推荐视频。他们需要你的支持，是不是还没有看过瘾？那赶快关注微信创业美国，观看独家花絮和更多创美原创视频。